Welcome back from the break. We are glad you are still watching. If you're just joining us, thank you for joining us. So right now we are going to be taking a look at the outside of this property. We're going to look at the sauna, the gym, the pool, and all the other items. So keep with us. So here we are, we are at the gym area. I will let Philip take us through what is actually here. Of course, uh, this house would not be complete without the gym. All right. So we have the gym, would be fitted here. As well, we have the sauna already fitted. Then what you'll notice on this house as you, if you come in from the downstairs, we have another bedroom that would act as a guest wing or guest bedroom. As well on the outdoor, we have another guest wing. So taking a look at the gym, I see that the most outstanding feature is the mirrors. Okay. Tell us about that, you know, why do we have to see us, you know, anything that you have to say about the mirrors? Of course for the mirrors, if you're working out, you don't want to be bored. You have to look at yourself as the muscles, you know. Most definitely, if you go to most gyms in, around, you'll find their mirrors. You know, people tend to look at themselves as they work out to see how their bodies are changing. Yes. You talked about the sauna, so mm -hmm. where is the sauna? So as you have, this is the entrance to the sauna, quite small but good enough. Maybe for just two one seater. person or two people. Yes. Yeah. So you will see that uh, with our sauna we have the music system already installed inside. So you don't have to be there bored, you don't move in with your phone, you keep the music playing as you enjoy the time there. Wow, and that's the music I guess? Yes, exactly. Interesting. So here we are, we are just uh, from the inside of this amazing property and we are now looking at the outside of the balcony where we shall take a look at several, you know, items like this, uh, the barbecue area and the pool. But let's first go on and see what is around this area for now. Yeah, when you move into the barbecue, uh, so you see the stone finishing of this. Then the tiles as well, finishing the marble finishing on top, marble finishing tops. Right. It's all fitted already with the, the grills. Okay. Yeah. Everything is already intact. Well, as you can see. Okay. Then you have the sink as well. With the sink. Yes. The sink, yeah. Then okay. we have the storage. Of course, you have the wine storage. Then you have also this, the cabinets and all the that. Cabinets. So we have a lot in this house that could not be missed out. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, and uh, what is this? It's also some kind of design. Or this is where you put, put the wine, wine bottles. Yeah, yeah. I, okay, I get that. And we have got another sink right here as well. You have two sinks, like this and that. Okay. And then this is also some bits of decoration, I guess. This is a kind of finishing. Of course, yeah, yeah. they have used the tiles, mm -hmm. but of course the tiles and then they have put different colors on it. Okay. They bring out the beauty. So explain to me why this kind of ceiling was used. You know, it's a bit uh, different from the ones we saw earlier. Of course, from the exterior, you have a different kind of setup of the, the, the ceiling. So we try to incorporate something that we have inside from the outside to bring out the beauty as well of the house. So this is also the wood kind of finishing on the, on the ceiling. Okay, mm. very interesting. Uh, there is a lot of shelf where you can keep your your your, your meat, you, not the meat, not, I don't know what you put in here. The food, whatever you want to keep here, everything has got its own space provided for it. There you have it. And then uh, there is also, you know, these shelves as well. Yeah, of, of course, before even we see those shelves, we have the aluminium kind of finishing here. Oh, you know, when that. you have the wood outside, you don't want them to become damp. So that's why we have the aluminium kind of finishing on this uh, storage part of it. Wow. And that's where you put the fire, I guess. The fire. Let me just take a look, just sure. so I can. Okay, so that's where you put the fire for the barbecue. Everything is set up right for you. So that was it, that was the barbecue area. Right now we are moving on to the pool area. We are just from the barbecue area, and right now we are moving on to the pool area. And uh, beware that you cannot use this grand, green space for walking. You have to use this one here that I'm using. All right, so Philip, tell us more about you know, this area, why it was designed, the way it was designed, and why the pool was put exactly where it is. Uh, this house is complete now. Okay. With a swimming pool. All right. You know, um, 
Of course, when you look at the acreage of this house, it's seated on roughly about 30 decimals. 30? Decimals. Okay. And um, we've tried to fit in everything at least to make sure that uh, the house is complete. All right. So the swimming pool is here. The gym is there. You have the sauna. Mm. So from here, you can just hit the sauna. You can hit the gym or you come back to the swimming pool. Mm. Then when you look at the exterior, the garden, we have complete planted grass. There is so much green. Yes. Yeah. Grass. Mm -hmm. Then the flowers. Okay. The flowers in each part of the house, corner and the exterior. So beauty is really covered. Everything is covered in this house. It's essential that everything is exactly where it's supposed mm -hmm. to be. Oh wow, so how big is this pool? I don't know. Um, oh. okay. This is about how many feet? About, uh, about 10 feet. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. So let's, apart from the pool, we have good, you know, the flowers going for the whole house and the whole interior, the ex exterior design? <laughs> exterior design. <laughs> exterior design. Yeah, yeah. and uh, the flowers make up for for all of that. All right, so this is all we had for you tonight on this amazing property in Miyenga. This is the pool area, as you can see, uh, around, uh, he said, you said 10 feet? About 10 feet. 10 feet, mm -hmm. and it's also, you know, everything gets, the peak of this area is that you get to see a lot of green around here, a lot of flowers going for the whole entire building, house, amazing property. Philip, do you have anything else that you'd like to share with us before we conclude this show? Of course, uh, on the exterior, something that you can't miss out is the stone finishing on the walls. Okay. And when you look at the basement of each, as you move along, you see the stone finishing. Mm. That's something that is really beautiful. We don't have plastered walls as, as well, but yeah, finishing by with the stones. Natural, you know. I guess, uh, mm -hmm. you know, more wild. All around the house, around, so you have the stone finishing. Okay. Yes. And the view is really amazing from here, you know, the view of the whole, the whole building. Yes. And uh, you have those climbing plants as well, the flowers covering all around. Okay. So we have come to the conclusion of uh, the tour of this amazing, beautiful, all the other beautiful words that you can use to describe this amazing property. And uh, Philip, one last question. If I wanted to purchase this house, how much is it on the market? Well, uh, before even we discuss the price, you okay. know, we need to go back to the location of the property. We're in Muyenga and also the size of the land okay. is uh, 30 decimals. 30 decimals? Yes. Okay. Then uh, when you go to the house, you look at the finishing, the kind of painting that we have used, the rails, you know, the, yeah. the wooden, yeah. how we've incorporated different things, wood, metal, and all that. So okay. asking price is $1.6 million. $1.6 million? million? Yes. That's how much in Ugandan shillings? Well, the, that's... <laughs> <laughs> is it around uh, $7 billion or $8 billion? Probably. Wow. Yeah. And is it worth it, you know, as a, as a real estate agent, do you think it's worth it? Of course, the state of heart in this property is worth it. Okay. Yes, it's worth it. And if you compare it with different pri uh, properties in the same price range, you'll find that this is quite different. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and I've seen that. 